First, we log into Mirador. Then we navigate to the Assets view. and look for the devices which we want to reinstall. As we can see, these two virtual devices are identical to each other. Both of them run Windows 7 and are not assigned for anyone. If we open Device Form, we can see Device Properties. For example, here we see the device's current operating system and person responsible. Also, default organization and location is shown here. If we take a look at the initial installation settings, we'll see that the settings are empty because this device hasn't been assigned to any actual device role, person, or location. The installation settings, however, will get automatically updated if we configure the settings for the device. So let's assign this device to Scott Hoyle, who works at the sales department in Malmö, Sweden. Organization is automatically inherited from the user, but location can be selected manually. Because Scott frequently uses common Office software, we'll also switch the device role to Office PC. We are now ready, so we'll save the changes. If we now take a second look at the installation settings, we'll notice that a long list of installation steps is automatically generated for the devices based on the configuration we chose. Firstly, the device's operating system will be changed to Windows 8 with Swedish regional settings, time zone, language, and keyboard layout. Secondly, a lot of common administrative tasks and software installations will be performed for the device. These include, for example, joining to a domain and installing basic Office applications if we approve the generated steps by activating the initial installation. The system then asks whether we would like to receive notification once the installation is finished. For this demonstration, we'll say no. At this point, we might want to open a virtual machine connection so that we can see what happens when we start the automated installation. Permitted users can start the remote installation from the Tasks menu of the Asset form. Okay, there it goes. We can now leave the device for a while and also start the installation of the other device. Just like we did with the first device, we will next define the desired responsible person, location, and device role for the device. We'll assign this device for Tom, who is responsible for server infrastructure in the company's head office in Helsinki, Finland. We'll update the location as well. And because Tom has requested a new web server, we'll set this device's device role to server. And device usage to web server. Once again, save applies the changes. The initial installation settings should now be updated for this device as well. Like we can see, operating system will be changed to Windows Server 2008 R2 with finished regional settings. And also Microsoft Windows Web Server feature will be installed to the device. We are now ready to start the installation of this device as well. So let's open the virtual machine connection to the device and start the installation.
We will now fast forward through the actual installation part, but in the background you can see how Mirador first installs operating systems to the devices, and then continues to install software. Normally, this phase would take a little bit longer depending on the computer's resources. However, the process is totally automated, so it is easy to install multiple devices simultaneously and leave the system to overview the ongoing installations. The installation process can also be tracked in real time in Mirador. This view shows the current status of the ongoing installations in real time. Now the installation of Tom's web server seems to be complete. Operating system and all packages were installed successfully. The installation created a local administrator account for the server and reset it its password. The password can be seen from the tasks menu on the device's asset form. Here we can see that Internet Information Services has automatically installed the device, and the device is running Windows Server 2008 R2. Also, the time zone, domain, and remote desktop settings have been configured automatically. The second installation has also made some progress and is already installing the last installation packages to the device. It will also be ready soon. Also, the second installation is now complete. It seems that no errors occurred. We will again copy the administrator's password for the device. As we can see, the device is running Swedish Windows 8. And because this device was configured to be an Office PC, there should also be Microsoft Office, Office Suite installed in the device. Also, Google Chrome has been installed. However, Scott prefers to use Mozilla Firefox, so perhaps it would be a good idea to install that for Scott as well. The simplest way is to use Mirador's package distribution feature, which allows to distribute single installation package to manage devices at any time. Just select the package you wish to distribute, and the system will take care of the installation part.
Here we can see that Mirador Climb was activated and it started to prepare the installation. And there it is, simple and quick. Package installation status can also be tracked from Mirador. We can test whether the browser is working or not. And it seems that the browser is working just fine, so we are ready with the installations.